through Singlin. This one in particular being a Hortolux uh, Super High Pressure Sodium. These are fantastic bulbs. They've been around for a really long time. Um, very much pointed to by many different people as the industry standard Singlin and bulb. Um, you get the most amount of life out of them. They may not be the brightest bulb at about 147, 146,000 lumens. Um, but you will get an extra two months out of this bulb versus almost any other bulb on the market. Um, they are nice, but the, obviously the difference in this is it is in fact a mobile style socket. And a mobile socket is pretty much a standard threaded socket, just about twice as big. And you have that, which is more or less what most gardeners are used to. These don't necessarily last as long as the double ended. The double ended you can push almost a good solid year, year and a half sometimes out of them with the higher end bulbs. Um, the double ended do require you to move them further away from your canopy than a single ended bulb because they have a little bit higher U mole, which means they're putting out more photosynthetic active radiation. Some more active growing light is coming out of that, so it needs to be a little bit further away so you prevent bleaching and light stress. Um, whereas these ones, the kind of inherent design flaw with single ended bulbs is this glass to metal mate right here. It's never going to be a perfect seal, and over time, this is the reason for most bulb degradation. Um, this gas is actually leaking out of here once it's burnt off. The double ended bulbs are completely sealed so it doesn't run into that same effect, so you get a little bit longer life out of it, and the companies can afford to put a little bit different blend of gas in there to push them a little bit harder, um, which is kind of all you know, movement among the lighting industry. Still a fantastic bulb, and still, you know, it's tried and true in a lot of people's gardens for years. A different style of transitional bulb is going to be a uh, 10K bulb. This one is widely regarded as a finisher bulb, it says even so, a little right on the bottom says finisher. The reason behind something like this is a 10,000 degrees Kelvin. And as we had stated earlier, the temperature, surface temperature of the sun is 5,778 degrees Kelvin. This bulb is actually has an internal temperature that is hotter than the sun. Um, they're huge in the UV. I mean, the peaks back here, pretty much most of this bulb's light output is ultraviolet light, um, which towards the last, let's say, week to 10 days of your plant's life cycle can help it, um, it kind of emits a stress response. That much ultraviolet light causes the plant to sweat, and when it does, it'll secrete more essential oils and more resins to help protect itself. Um, really awesome finisher bulb, but it's really important that this gets installed correctly um, because when these do, if they do fail, they, it can go pretty bad. Um, so we'll kind of get into that here in a minute about installing these double ended bulbs properly to ensure that you're not burning out sockets, frying the bulbs, or hopefully worse yet, not causing a fire.